Hey, what is going on guys? RVZ Stealth here, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the rank one player in the world right now, who is a kindred one trick for the most part, or a kindred main. He is over on the Korean server. His name's FPX Ming Jing, and right now he's got 1.2K LP, which does sit him at the number one player in the world for this patch, at least for solo queue. So in this video, we're gonna be breaking down basically, or trying to break down what he does differently, what he's doing in these games, to win so many and to win games so quickly if you take a look at this guy's match history he wins a lot of games in 15 minutes so the enemy's ff15 in a lot of his games so obviously he's doing something right and in this video we're going to try to break that down and try to figure out what he's doing to have it to just allow him to have so much success in solo queue so what he's doing right here getting a ward down on the top side here now he's not getting a ward in the pixel bush which you'll see a lot of junglers do he's getting the ward a little a little further up there and i think the reasoning behind this is because the enemy jungler is xin Zhao. so xin Zhao, he does like to level 2 gank a lot he does level 2 gank mid lane quite often so by getting a ward right there instead of planting it in the pixel bush so right there a little bit closer up it just gives his mid laner a bit more time to react to a level 2 Xin Zhao gank if he does decide to do that so I think that's the reasoning behind that ward there in that situation now let's just go back on the kindred here so what I'd be doing in this game if I were the kindred is I'd be looking to camp either mid lane or bot lane uh, Morgana bind really good crowd control to allow kindred to uh, just secure kills when she is ganking. Nautilus also really good crowd control. So playing around those two lanes as Kindred is probably your best bet in this game. So what he's doing here, level 2 gank bot lane, just being really, really patient in the bush there, not even moving until the enemy bot lane moves closer up to him and makes a mistake, and then Morgana just flashes in, guarantees the bind there, and it's a free first blood. So I think just being really patient with that play there, I feel like a lot of junglers would just immediately go in for the gank as soon as they go bot lane, but he just sat in that bush for a couple of seconds, made sure the play was going to be 100%, picks up the first blood, and it's a really good start for him in this game here so now he's just calling over his support calling over his mid laner to help him secure this blue buff and what kindred does here is something that you probably wouldn't see a lot of lower elo junglers do so notice she's just disregarding that scuttle crab and she does this because her nautilus does have priority in lane so nautilus has the shove in lane he can roam first so this is why kindred is just running straight through mid lane over to her top side because she knows Xin Zhao is going to be there trying to grab her side of the jungle but because her Nautilus can roam first she can go over here and she can take her blue buff if her Nautilus did not have this priority in lane and notice there on the minimap Nautilus is roaming over if Nautilus was not able to do that I feel like Kindred probably would have just vertical jungled and she would have taken Xin Zhao's bot side of the jungle so Xin Zhao's wolves uh, Xin Zhao's Grop and would have just done that and take the bot side Scuttle Crab, but she's t getting as much as she can out of this situation because her mid laner did have priority, and you always just got to play around that mid priority. If your mid laner is not shoving, you got to take the less riskier play. If your mid laner is shoving and can roam first, then you can make that play that Kindred d just did and get really far ahead of the enemy jungler. So she's going to have three buffs on Xin Zhao, and she also grabs a Scuttle Crab, so she is very far ahead of him now at this point. Has led to this moment. All right, so bot lane is very low. So again, just being very patient in the bush here, not just waiting. Like he he just waits until the enemy walks too close up, not trying to over force a gank or anything. So let the enemy make the mistake and then look to punish it, which is exactly what he does. Grabs a double kill there and. I would say at this point the game is pretty much over he's got three kills already he's got his bot lane super far ahead if you take a look at the bot lane wave right here the bot lane wave is frozen towards uh his bot lane at this point it looks like it is uh eh, it's pretty close but his bot lane is definitely in a very good spot right now as well because the enemy bot lane is gonna miss out on this cannon minion here gonna miss out on more minions there so really good to, for him to get his bot lane ahead like this and what he's doing here Notice how he's not even pathing towards his top side. He's got his Gromp up right now. He's also got his Wolves up, but he's not even heading over there. He's just heading straight back down to his bot side here. And he's just looking to continuously exploit this bot lane. The Mordekaiser does not have flash. Leona does not have flash. And just continuously ganking a lane that's already down 
ganking the lane that does have the highest percentage chance of you picking up a kill is going to lead to a ton of success in solo queue at least in my opinion so again this is the third gank in the first five minutes of the game down bot lane and it looks like another free kill here so leon is going to go down another kill over to the kindred let's just take a look at what this guy's score is right now so He's 3-0-1, 100% oh, KP in this game here, and he's, he's basically solo carrying this game. He's dictating the whole outcome of this game right now by himself, by the way he's playing. So, And now he's just zoning the Mordekaiser off the wave as well, because they can potentially dive him if he does stay for the wave. And it looks like he's going to head over to the dragon here, grab a free dragon. So the game is looking really good at this point here. You notice the Xin Zhao on the other side of the map there. He's taking Kindred's jungle, so it doesn't really matter too much for the Kindred, though, because she's just looking to play around this bot side right now. If Kindred can just continue to get this bot lane ahead, play around this side of the map, then I think the game is almost pretty much 100% guaranteed win at this point. So grab the dragon there. And then again, just looking to gank this bot lane, so not even leaving this lane. And I think this is something that... A lot of lower elo junglers don't do as much as they should, just continuously ganking a lane. Um, but again here, coming in for a dive, let's see what he does. Alright, grabs a kill on the Mordekaiser there. So the, the Morgana did die, which is definitely not the best in this scenario, but I guess it's still worth it. They pick up... Oh, did, uh, did Kaisa die? No, okay. But I think, yeah, I think he's going to go down here, so... A little bit too over aggressive. That's a 700 gold shutdown over to the Akali. I feel like that play wasn't really necessary. I don't know if he didn't realize uh, what his mid laner was doing. Let's actually just take a look at if mid lane did have any priority in this situation. So yeah, there his mid laner is in base right now. So I don't know if he didn't realize that. But I think in this situation here, it would have been better for him to just not go for this dive and for him to back off. Uh, because the Kali, getting that 700 gold shut down there is definitely not the best. And I don't think it's worth it for him to get a few kills to give over that shutdown. And then I think Kais is probably going to die here as well. So yeah, definitely not the best play there. Uh, Nautilus, I, I'm not sure if Nautilus even like pinged out that Akali was missing or if he was in base. But he definitely should have done that. So not the best outcome there. But they're still in a really good spot. Still up a couple thousand gold. So it's not the end of the world. And I don't think this Kindred has cleared a single topside camp this whole game. He cleared his blue buff. It's seven minutes into the game. I don't think he's cleared his wolves once or his gromp once. So this just goes to show you that this guy really, really is emphasizing playing towards one side of the map and just getting that lane ahead, even if it means he's not going to be farming his other side of the map. So let's see what he does next here. Scuttle Crab coming up. He's probably going to go for an invade on this blue here. Mid lane does have priority at this point. It looks like mid lane's going to get a solo kill here. Alright, really good. And then he's just coming back down bot lane again here. Another free kill onto the onto the Leona, so... Let's see what he does now. He can probably look to kill the Xin Zhao. So basically what he's doing this game is instead of like playing towards his top side jungle here, he's basically just playing like this side of the map. The bot side of the map is his. So this his side of the bot side, that's his jungle. And the other side of the bot side is also his jungle. So even though he's not farming his uh, top side of the map, he's farming the enemy's bottom side of the map as well. So he's still keeping up in gold and in XP, even though he's not farming his top side. And then right here, I think he should be getting out in, in this situation. They're picking missing, so he shouldn't die again here to another Akali roam. So it's really good for him to just back off here. Going to farm his Gromp. And then at this point in the game, probably just look to come bot lane again here or look to get a reset in. I think he's probably going to look to get a reset in here in this situation, depending on how much gold he does have. Yeah, he's going to get a reset in here. So let's just fast forward it a little bit. Go back onto the Kindred. All right. So he is heading to topside now. First time he's heading to topside nine minutes into the game. So he does have his blue buff up here. So yeah, I guess he doesn't have a single camp up on the bot side right now. So he doesn't really want to go to that side of the map. I feel like if he did have a, if he did, if he did have his camps up bot side, he probably would have went there. But just 
clearing his top side of the map there and then heading over to bot lane after he clears the top side is the uh, correct move in this situation. So just continuing to look to invade this Xin Zhao here. Let's slow it down now at this point. Coming in for a dive bot lane here. Should be pretty free to pick up. All right, another kill there on the Leona. And that's something you uh, definitely need to watch out for when you're playing Kindred. Uh, when you do plant your E on the opponent and they're in your ultimate, you just want to wait until your ultimate ends up uh, going through, wait till it ends, and then get that last auto attack to get the bonus damage on your E there. So auto attack them twice, and then on the third proc, wait until your ultimate does run out, get the burst damage off there, and it's just a really good way to burst the enemy as soon as they do come out of your ultimate. So this Nautilus mid pick, pick here doing really, really good. I think Nautilus mid next patch especially might actually be a pretty sleeper OP pick just because it is getting buffed and it's actually pretty good into quite a few assassin picks, but it looks like he actually dies here. So it looks like he goes a little bit too over aggressive. Let's just uh, rewind that here and take a look what happens. All right, so he's just, I think he probably just gets a bit too overconfident in this situation. So let's see what he does. Yeah, he just dashes right into the Xin Zhao, plays in melee form, so he doesn't have his ult up either. A little bit too overconfident in that situation, I think. I feel like he felt like because he's five kills up, he could just do that and kill the Xin Zhao, but Xin Zhao is still very strong. He does have his warrior completed, so a little bit of a mistake there, but it's not the end of the world. All right, let's just fast forward it a bit now. All right, let's see what happens next here. So still playing towards the bot side of the map, clearing his raptors out here, heading back down bot side. And Dragon's up right here, so let's see what he, let's see what he can do here. All right, so he gets the steal on the Zinja there, really, really well played. He does not have alt in this situation, so really well played mechanically in that fight there. He didn't have alt, but he still played it very well. And team gets an ace, so 17 to 7 at this point here. 25k to 20k, so he's about 6k up his team at this point in the game now. And I think this, this just goes to show you how important it is to play to one side of the map. Kindred just continuously played towards this bot side, never ganked top lane, never ganked mid lane, so just getting one lane ahead, playing towards that side of the map is definitely gonna, it's definitely going to suit you very well for solo queue. You know, I think at this point in the game here, because bot lane is down now, you should not be playing towards that side of the map anymore. So you, she should be looking to grab red buff here. And I think the play right now is to either look to crack mid lane tower, grab Herald, look to crack top lane tower. So you shouldn't be playing towards bot side after you do get the bot lane tower down. So notice how uh, Kindred's bot lane here is rotating towards mid lane, uh, rotating over to top lane. And let's just fast forward here. I think I think the play at this point, clear clear the top side camps out here, and then look to go for Rift Herald. Grab the Rift Herald, take mid tower, take top tower, just play it really macro, play it really smart, don't throw the lead. So let's see what happens here. Alright, so he's starting uh He's starting Herald. But bot lane wants to engage. So I think this is just a little bit of miscommunication here. I don't know on whose part, but the play isn't really necessary for their bot lane to make. I think just grouping up, forcing the Herald playing together is the play in this situation. Like if you're the if you're this bot lane, you don't really need to look to make that play. Just grab the Herald. So he's gonna get the Herald here. And let's see what he does next. All right, clear out the mid wave, and then look to go for an invade on Xin Zhao here is probably what he's gonna probably what he's gonna do. All right, so catches the Xin Zhao out. He he is a level up now, so I think he can take this like straight up one on one fight. Kennen's gonna go in there. All right, another free kill. So just continuous continuing to pressure his lead here. So just getting into the enemy's jungle. Playing super aggro, using his lead. 
grabbing this bot lane tower here. Notice how he's not using Herald though in this situation. I feel like a lot of junglers would have used Herald there, but if you're gonna get the tower without the Herald, there's no point in using it, right? So he doesn't drop it down there. He can come over to mid lane, and I think now in this situation, you could look to use the Herald mid if you get a kill here, so let's see what he does. All right, pop the ult. Get another kill there, so in this situation, I probably would look to use Herald, but he might not even do that because free tower, after the tower drops, now he's going to use the Herald, so he can crack this tower now with the Herald. Just holding on to that Rift Herald until you actually need it is definitely something that you should be aware of and you should definitely take into consideration. Alright, mid lane tower's down there, and it looks like the game is going to end here. It looks like the enemy is going to FF, so FF boat comes in. This game just goes to show you here how important just continuously continuously ganking the lane that gets ahead, playing to one side of the map, does you wonders for solo queue. So never gank top lane, never gank mid lane, level two gank bot lane, got a kill there. He didn't even like he didn't even clear his top side of the jungle throughout the game. I think he cleared it out like once, but he played towards his bot side and the enemy's bot side, and he just snowballed the game from there. So I think this was definitely a very good game as to showing you, you know, just playing towards one side of the map, continuously explaining that is a very good strategy for solo queue. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And if you would like to see a video like this for a different role, then be sure to let me know down in the comments below. But with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Have an awesome day and I'll see you in my next video.